Hello guys, welcome to another Two Jay Z Tuesday. My name is Michael Chung, and today I'm going to show you guys what the differences between a Two Jay Z NA block with a Two Jay Z GTE block. All right. Welcome to another series of 2 Jay-Z Tuesday. My name is Michael Chung and this is Tiffany. Sorry for the delay. Today I'm going to bring you guys the differences and the similarities between the 2 Jay-Z GE and the GTE block. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. And Tiffany says that please subscribe if you guys want to know more about 2 Jay-Z engine building. This video is especially important for those who want to use uh, GE block and convert into a GTE because uh, the GE block or the whole engine is cheaper relatively compared with the GTE so a lot of people just use the whole block the whole crank but change the crack con rod piston and maybe the cylinder head too alright so follow us closely so that you guys can know what to modify uh, I'm going to show you guys the NA block and then I'm going to show you guys some pictures on online for the GTE block. Alright, so come. Alright, the first uh, noticeable in, uh, difference is there is no oil squitter in any of the side of the block for a NA block. Alright, for a GTE block, there is an oil squitter. What does it do is it connects to the oil feed and spray directly to the piston all right so it will provide some sort of lubrication and uh, oil cooling so there are two different groups of people some people they say okay you need to have the oil squitter in order to run gte because uh, you may be running higher temperatures but some people might say okay you just you don't need to add on the oil squitters just run your uh, normal na block and fit in all your uh, GTE pistons and con rods then you are good to go no need the oil squitters all right this is the first difference all right next is I'm going to show you guys is this is the oil filter this hole is plugged all right so what is, what is, what is this hole okay I got two oil filter uh, here or if you filter holder you may say that all right so this one is the na oil filter this one is the gte oil filter all right here you can install the oil filter this one is very important especially when you are going for gte you have high temperatures running in so you need to cool down using water okay some people might say okay i just reuse back the uh, GE the NA oil filter and then I just install an oil cooler outside and let the AA or wind to blow it that that cooling is not enough so you need to use a water cooling oil filter all right so when you install this you can either open this open this plug and then you install the hose direct to here and the other hose connect to the uh, to the long pipe which the GTE has the, G, the NA GE doesn't have all right so uh, for mine I also uh, I also reuse this uh, oil water cool oil filter but I did not open this instead I connect all right there is uh, one more thing that you need to notice is for this NA block there isn't an oil uh, passage oil feed for the turbo from uh, this uh, exhaust side so you need to drill a hole exactly the same hole like the GTE turbo I'm going to show you guys some picture about it I'm going to discuss with you guys some of the similarities uh, which the GE block and the GTE block are the same alright so the main caps are the same right the strength of the block is the same all the fitment for the for the oil pump, for the water pump, for the gearbox housing, 
for the head gasket for the bottom part all are the same all right all right this one is the is the uh, nut it's a long bolt that uh, allows the oil to flow this one is the same for all gte and na2 all right one more thing i want to mention is this block i have already uh, upside down this one is the vvti oil feed this one go to the vvti so if you are not using the vvti you can use this oil feed and direct to your gte turbo all right so you can get an oil feed from directly from the block all right this is what i did and uh, since i'm not using the vvti cam i just use this one the oil feed and direct to my turbo to give the oil feed okay so the next question is the turbo has oil feed in but how about out right so this is the bottom part okay uh, over here there isn't any hole for you to drill in so that the oil from the turbo can go directly to here so you need to drill a hole here tap it and fix a fitting and you can uh, install your turbo oil feed so you can install a hose directly from the turbo down to your oil pan okay guys you see this drawing this one is drew by my wife my lovely wife right, this... all right you can see that tiffany is asking you to subscribe if you guys will want to know more tips about engine building see you bye bye